What's up guys, it's Taj here and I am here today with my top 5 list of things that need to be in WWE 2K18 releases some early 2K18 pre-release content talking about 2K18 because WWE 2K17 has some major flaws that um, that need to be um, addressed but in this video I'm going to be talking about things that need to be in 2K18. Now the Cruiserweights obviously will be in 2K18, majority of them I hope because you know some of them are still working with other indie promotions while they're under WWE. Um, I think they're able to do that because I don't know if some of them have like permanent, permanently signed contracts with WWE yet. Um, as you can see here, Cedric Alexander, TJ Perkins, um, just just to name a few that should be in 2K18, and it can really spice up the roster because you know we have a lot of um, additional um, roster members that are already on the roster that don't need to be there, like Stunning Steve Austin, Tatsumi Fujinami from last year's game. I'm glad they didn't bring over our people like Savio Vega or Mikey Whipwreck from last year's showcase. I'm re really glad they didn't do that. Um, Earthquake and um, um, Typhoon. Um, I guess since they're like legends that they're in the game and that, that's cool, but like, who really uses them? Like, really. The Cruiserweights can spice up the division. Not many people might know about them because they don't want 205 Live, but Cruiserweights do occasionally pop up on Raw, so people should know who they are. They, they won't be just like uh, a no-brainer when they get the game and they see Cruiserweights. Um, also including the Cruiserweight Championship, obviously, currently held by the king of the Cruiserweights, Neville. As you can see here, Brian Kendrick. Just some people that I feel should be in 2K18. Um, hopefully 2K can squeeze them in because they're kind of iffy with some superstars just because of promotions they've wrestled with or, you know, what they're currently doing at the minute. You know, it, it's, it's just confusing. But this is one of the things I think that need to be in 2K18, the Cruiserweight division. Number four on the list, obviously, updated arenas. Obviously, there's, this is going to be a next year's game, but we have to remember, hopefully, they can get all the custom arenas in that have been updated with the new Titan Trons, Mini Trons, all that stuff. Clash of Champions that happened, Hell in a Cell, No Mercy, Backlash, Survivor Series, all of the, you know, new stuff that they added. Updated arenas, obviously, not just Raw and SmackDown like I'm showing you guys right here. But, uh, yeah, all of the updated arenas that I just mentioned. So, yeah, number four on the list, updated arenas. Number three on the list, the Royal Rumble match itself. Now this one could be a little controversial because I know some people don't even like play the Royal Rumble or like don't care for it at all. They, they think it's fine. But if you play the game long enough, at least if you played SBR 11, you know like the match you're seeing now is way different from the match you saw in SBR 11. SBR 11 had specific superstar animations when they came out. The camera angles were different. It actually showed the ramp. When the superstars were coming down to the ring, Triple H had the water bottle, water bottle. He threw it into the crowd. Rey Mysterio had his animation with the pyro. Shawn Michaels did as well. And I think, I think maybe Batista had his pyro. I'm not really sure. But, you know, like, at least give us, like, different camera angles, switch it from time to time. Like, it's cool to see the crowd go crazy, but, like, you, know, you, you, you don't know who's coming down to the ring. You know, like, obviously you'll hear the music and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it would be cool to bring back specific superstar animations when they're coming down to the ring. Um, you know, switch up the camera angles, add some new animations to the game, because the Royal Rumble's been the same for, like, the past couple of years, you know. Change up the elimination animations like you saw there, Bo Dallas tried to eliminate, uh, I think, Earthquake or Typhoon, I don't know which one it is. But, um, just like, you know, some new Royal Rumble animations, some new finishers, you know. Just, you know, you know, improve the Royal Rumble. Some people don't like it, but this is one of my things on this list. Number two on the list of big requests from fans nowadays, GM mode. Now, to be honest with you guys, I didn't play GM mode. I think the last time I was on the game was in SVR 08. I didn't play that. My first SVR game that I ever played was 2010, SVR 2010, one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, universe mode is good. But if you have GM mode, now that you have split brands in real life, it's, it's, it's cool. You know, like they emphasize the fact that there's always GMs in real life. Um, 
Dan O'Brien and Mick Foley. Well, Mick Foley's fired now. I don't know who the new Raw GM is going to be. But, you know, it would be cool to have GMO bring, uh, bring, bring whatever you want to call it. Just brought back into the WWE games. Um, have more freedom with your storylines, uh, editing, superstars, uh, salaries, all that stuff. Keeping their contracts, you know, re uh, like um, relevant. You know, just keep making sure your superstars are happy on wh whichever show you want to manage. You know, just have more freedom with with um, what you're doing in the game. Universe mode is fine, but you don't have as much freedom. So number two on this list, yes, GM mode. Another big topic, more match types. What happened to I Quit matches, Inferno matches? I'm pretty sure they can implement I Quit and Inferno back into the game. The last time I was in the game, I think was 2K14, which was very upsetting to see it just go away for no reason. Tag team matches, there's no mixed tag team match, there's no tag team tables, tag team ladders. What happened to match was, you guys remember match was when you to edit the match, you can make it elimination, 203 falls, first blood, any of that. F fatal four way first blood, like anything like that. There used to be an Elimination Chamber tag team match. What happened to the match types? King of the Ring? All that good stuff. Let me know if you guys, um, if I missed anything out in the comments. Hope you all like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. It's Taj, and I'll see you guys.